The final step, though, to creating an effective business model portfolio, we always come back to this, is the ambidextrous organization. This is not going to happen within your existing successful business. The business model you operate there is already good, and all the metrics are set up to, to optimize that. We're not going to change all those different processes and the, the uh, types of people you have there and the measures that they use and the KPIs uh, uh, overnight. So we need to continue to support optimizing the existing business, as we've said. We need to do all these things and invest in this, but we do need to allocate capital to invent the future. And the, my experience is a separate business unit Remember Klockner Steel? Remember that company in the business model pioneer example? Give it the space, the investment, and the time, and so on, to really invest in platform-based business model and make sure, like those case studies we saw before, that it drives demand or has synergies with the core business as well. And that is business model transformation. So the 10-point checklist for a more powerful business model portfolio is as follows. The first one, the most important one, do your leaders fully understand the economics of digital business models? Essentially, digital business models are business models of the future. Do they fully understand that? Not just your executive leaders, but your board, and ideally also your shareholders. And here are some other key ones that you can consider. And then the second half of the 10 point checklist is this. I'll let you look at these ones. I'll come back to this in a second, but let's start with the last one here. This complements the first and is really important. Are your leaders, are you, willing to think beyond your sector, beyond your current customer group and the way you segment them, and beyond the quarter, and indeed even beyond the year in terms of thinking about how your business is going to evolve? If you are, then it's time also to create a new narrative, a new language for evolving your business model portfolio and evolving where you invest your capital and resources to create a new story about how you're going to grow and be successful. Essentially, what is your new why for the digital economy? And a final thought comes from the CEO of Accor Hotels. Accor Hotels, one of the biggest hotel chains in the world. They've been very advanced in thinking about their role in the world, and they are divesting themselves of a lot of physical assets, a lot of real estate. They've also invested heavily in platform-based business models. And what I like about this quote from the CEO, he said this, he was offered an investment in Airbnb way back, and they didn't take it up. He said, we made our biggest losses from moves not made. I think that resonates if you remember about the new competition entering the marketplace. The incumbents who are bold, who make the bold moves and invest in new business models tend to reap most of the benefits as an industry digitizes. And I hope what we've heard in this module is some ideas that can help you do the same. So thanks for listening to this module. The last one is the most important, the five steps to renew your business. As ever, if you have any ideas, thoughts, questions, please email me. Thanks very much.